Hello, this is H.E. Baby, and welcome back to Let's Play SimCity! Let's finish up our business in the Northeast Quadrant. Or at least with the sea tops. I want to get moving there. First thing I want to do, though, is demolish that fire department there, because I need the area there for finishing off this sea top. I could probably finish it off by moving the center of the city further in this direction, but... I want to get this done now, and yeah, I can't do it that quickly. So yeah, let's just temporarily get rid of the fire department, and then I'll rebuild it later. We've got these two fire departments to help protect my gifts in the meantime, until we can get back up to full strength there. Also, let's take a look at our zone balance here. Okay, so I can build four two and two at this point. So I want to get the rest of these sea tops done in the northeast quadrant as I prepare to go to the southeast quadrant where I want to build a lot of industrial zones. Let me see over here. Yeah, I think we'll be good over here. Get a couple there. Little bit of rails. You're good to go. It's touching the power plant so I don't need any power lines or anything there and then I want to build four residential zones but we're out of room for them in the northeast quadrant whatever shall we do well I, this is the time to start demolishing those hospitals and by the way the reason I extended the rail the way I did is because without the fire department we don't have a valid destination for these residential zones so this curves it around to the police department temporarily until I rebuild the fire department. This is as far as I need to go with the parks, as far as the 4x4 regions go there. Okay, so we've got all that set up. I think we're good to go. Although, well, hold on. Let me get the game moving here. I want to build some extra power lines, just as a little backup there. But, uh, okay, now let's see if we can... Avoid any more schools, hospitals. Okay, then why don't we go over here? I'm not going to demolish the same ones as they immediately form because I'm very paranoid and superstitious and it feels like they have a better chance of becoming a hospital or school again in the same spot as though the game hasn't moved on with the RNG or something. But now let's fast forward since it looks like the residential zones are cooperating here. We've got the last one of the sea tops there in the middle already developing nicely. Okay, how about we go let's see right about there so we can keep an eye on well most of the sea tops that I've got developing here. At least a little bit there. But yeah, I want to finish up the sea tops on the right side there. So that way I can put more industrial zones there. Try to move that center of the city as far to the southeast as possible. There are some sea tops that I could work on down there. In the southeast. But it's pretty difficult right now with the center of the city where it is. So we got to work on that a little bit. Looks like we got the northwest sea top and the southeast one developed there. I don't want to spend my money on the fire department right now because I'm probably going to need another power plant soon. And I'd rather not have to wait a couple years to get the money for all that. So I'm just going to leave that as is for now. No reason why not. Hmm. I'm thinking if I want to build this sea top first or one over here in this donut chain. I suppose it doesn't especially matter. Probably the probably this one, because I want to actually build things over there. On the uh, donut chain over there. I can handle that at my leisure. Okay, so we got all that. Let's see, I think I can build one more set of zones without needing another power plant. So let me see where we stand with all that. 
Okay, we can do... Yeah, four, two, and two. That'll be fine. Okay, so with this one out of the way, let's get the rails further down. Yeah, right about there ought to do. Okay, so we got that. Then get the last C-top going over here. And then we should be fine. Let's see, I could also build a couple residential zones here. Why don't we get those lined up? They do not be need to become an R-top. I don't plan on it. It's just convenient to have them there. Okay, so we get all those. Um, let's see, I don't think we need that anymore. No, I think we're good. Okay, let's get a couple more industrial zones going. I don't want to go any further to the left with my industrial zones because we got another donut chain that I want to get going over here. Okay, so two more of those, and then, let's see, two more residential zones. Let's see if we can get these ones to develop properly here. Okay, we got all those. I think we're good to go. I'm just going to leave my money as is right now. I don't want to spend it on another bunch of zones when, yeah, I'm probably going to get a school or a hospital happening around here. Okay, so we got the one. Might as well give this one a try. Eventually, I will replace the, hosp the new hospital that spawned over there, but let's go one thing at a time, or we could just get another school over there. Why not? Well, we'll start over here. Oh, yeah, I can uh, build over here now, now that I've gotten this one out of the way. But in any case, I think, yeah, let's just wait a moment for the new residential zone to power up, starting to develop. Now we can fast forward until we get even more C-tops going here. Well, it looks like they're all right here, so rather convenient now. So yeah, I'm just focusing my industrial zones on the southeast quadrant for now while I'm wrapping up these C-tops here. And land value in the northeast quadrant is no longer a concern. I've already developed all of the C-tops that I would have to develop without the aid of a gift. So now the gifts can power up and pick up the slack there. Oh, you know, there is something I should do down here. I should get the, yeah, the forest out of the way there. Let's see, this would be the right rail of the quadrant. So let's go like that. Yeah, let's get all these out of the way before they would otherwise overflow the land value. I want to get a fire department headquarters over here eventually. Hey, that ought to do. But yeah, I do need to build a couple more fire departments, actually. Oh, they both became a school and a hospital. <laughs> you know, right, way to rub it in, game. But alright, now we can get back to fast forwarding! Alright, very nice with the C-tops there. Yeah, these things are developing more easily than I expected. Yeah, I was hoping that I could finish off this C-top by moving the center of the city there. It's, it's got more finesse than just brute force with the parks to get the land value to go up. I mean, I'll use parks, but I like more strategy involved with getting the C-tops to develop there. But, oh well. Yeah, once we're done here, then I can get up to the the seat or what is it the donut chain up top there so the next thing I need to buy is yeah a, a coal power plant so let's get that built in advance so let's see we got the one there that's the only one I think I'm gonna build in that quadrant so why don't we just get another one there ready to go and then let's see yeah let's get another or let's get the fire department back over there oh we should probably yeah slow down the time there a little bit until they get fully powered up 
There you go. Well, yeah, we've got uh, industrial zones everywhere. It's too bad they really didn't make the mechanics in such a way to, like, deal with pollution. I mean, the only thing that, like, you could, well, the only things you could really do is, well, don't build roads and try to spread out your industrial zones as much as you can, but it's kind of impractical with the way land value works, like with the center of the city and everything. I mean, I can't get residential zones to develop outside of that radius. What else are we going to do? I mean, I could if I put enough effort into it, but that's beyond my motivation to do. Also, I would like to get some of these rails connected, make this thing actually look remotely like a city. But, yes, realistic city development is, I mean, as far as, like, how it looks, yeah, you're not really gonna get that in, I would think, almost any Sim City game. Almost every optimal strategy involves making the whole place into a futuristic dystopia with tons of pollution and police everywhere and yeah really high taxes oh well but at least we got the sea top going over there and then let's see with this one well i don't need to build the rails all the way down here yet i suppose okay so we got that going now let's see what we can do with more sea tops. Okay, so we'll go... Yeah, we'll just go for two and two again. Okay, so we've got one, two, three more sea tops to get moving in this quadrant. So let's see, with this... Why don't we go up there first, wrap that up. And then get a couple more industrial zones down here. Okay, then I need four residential zones, so how about we do this? Give these two a chance to repent, and then, yeah, get that going there. Okay, that ought to be good. Let's just wait a moment and see how... Oh, uh, what is it? Yeah, how the residential zones develop. And let's see, how many fire departments do I have at the moment? Okay, so I just need two more of those. And most of them, well, all of them, I think, are going to be in the southeast quadrant now that I got this one back up and running. Okay, so, yeah, I can't keep an eye on all the residential zones at once. So we'll just start here and go from there. Oh, did I build the... Oh, okay, good. It's like, wait a minute. Well, at least we got one of them to change. But, uh, okay, yeah, we're going to need another residential to pick up the slack. Now that I've gotten the sea tops to develop, we can just fill in this entire area. Although there's still not a lot of room for residential zones, unfortunately. Oh, well. Okay, so we got all of those developing. Now... Let's see, do I want to take care of the rails or the fire departments first? I think I want to take care of the rails here first. Okay, so now, yeah, let's just get everything connected here. Okay, very nice. And then, I don't think I'm going to get rid of, or be able to build all of them, but I should be able to get a lot of them done here. Let's get another uh, power line going over there. And, okay, I think that's all I want to do right now. Someone was asking me, H.C. Bailey, shouldn't you, like, save up your money in the event of a disaster? And, well, I mean, you could. I mean, it's not a, a bad idea to do that. But, as you can see, even on hard difficulty, they don't give you a ton of disasters. Especially if you know how to avoid them, like 
demolishing all the coastline or not using nuclear power plants building things over the water so you don't have a or build it properly so you don't have a shipwreck don't power up your airport so a lot of those problems can just be prevented regardless of whatever difficulty mode you're on like even in practice i haven't seen very much in the way of disasters really the most common thing are our uh, airplane crashes I mean the oh yeah I should probably fast forward but yeah I mean just don't power up the airport and you're fine it's too bad there's not a way you could like really prevent things like that from happening in a more intended way like I don't know, maybe more funding for flight school or training airplane pilots or whatever. I don't know. Something you could actively do to deal with disasters more actively rather than just building a whole bunch of fire departments and then call it a day. But, I mean, it is the first Sim City game, so it's not going to be that complicated. Maybe have, like, a, a disaster for industrial zones, dumping toxic waste, or something like that. Have a disaster for that. Oh, well. Well, how are we doing here? Well, we've almost got the eastern sea tops done. Hey, there we go. Yeah, just a nice wall of commercial zones. Hmm, too bad I'm not going to put another sea top there. Oh, well. I like doing things this way. Okay, so, yeah, three more sea tops to go. And I'm just going to stick to, yeah, building one chunk of zones at a time. The money seems to work out well that way. Okay, so with this one, let's see. Okay, I'm going to go, yeah, go four, two, and two again. Eventually, I'll need a 5, 2, and 2 to keep my residential zone levels at 51%. But for now, 4, 2, and 2 will do. Okay, let's get a couple more over there. And let's see, I was thinking about the fire departments. But let's get this going first. Okay, so we got one. Well, we got room for four. Get all of this filled in. That'll be good. And then, can I keep an eye on everything? Yes, we can! Okay, so we get that going, and then I think we're good to go. Now, I'm not going to build residential zones over every single school and hospital. Eventually, I'll just destroy them outright. And the reason for that is... Because most of them are in the northwest quadrant, and I need to move the center of the city to the southeast quadrant. So I would just remove the schools and hospitals and not replace them with anything. You got to be a little careful when you do that, though, because some zones could, well, lose power. As we fast forward, not realizing the danger the city is in. Yeah, that's something I'm going to be very careful about. Always check it up on the the power grid after removing so many zones at once. Oh, we can get another art top. Nice. Yeah, I don't really need to keep an eye on the industrial zones. They always develop. No matter what you do. I wonder if there's a version of SimCity that has, like, the bugs fixed. Because, like, the way it's supposed to work is, like, not only do residential zones need valid destinations to, like, commercial zones or industrial zones, but the reverse is also true. They need to be connected to residential zones, but it's bugged, so the second part 
of the check there doesn't actually happen. Whoops. I don't even know how I built the city like that. I mean, what are you going to do in the corners of the city? I mean, you can't develop residential zones there. I mean, the industrial zones would never be able to reach the residential zones and vice versa. But we got another sea top at least. Hooray! Oh yeah, I got a whole bunch of money I could have spent. Well, that's okay. We can do it now. Okay, so we got another R top there. So I think we can wait on building five residential zones. Let's go, yeah, four, two, and two. Get the last C top going up here. Let's see, with the industrial zones, I think I'll just start building down here now that we've gotten the, yeah, the all the C tops to develop around there. Okay, and then four more residential zones. Oop. Get in there. Okay. All right, and then, yeah, I want to get a whole bunch of rails. But for now, let's just, oh, I need to get the, well, yeah, the rails here. Okay, so let's start up here and then just get all of them all the way around. Eventually, I will connect the rails across the river. But not right now. Okay, so we get all that. Yeah, that'll be more than enough for my needs. Okay, so we just got, yeah, just the two C-tops left over here. Let's see how these are going to be doing. Also, I would like to build some more fire departments. So, let's see what we got. Okay, I need two more of them to get the next headquarters. So, let's see where exactly I want to put them. Okay, I'm going to want some of them on the airplane island. If you're going to put your, uh, what is it, your airport over here, which is what I always did as a kid. But, uh, not right now. Yeah, it's better to put it in the corner. Okay, then... Yeah, why don't we just go up from here? That'll be fine for now. And then I want to put another fire department. Let's see. Okay, well, that makes it easy. Get that over there. We're going to have some gifts that I'm going to be putting over here eventually, including a uh, police department headquarters. But not right now. Okay, so I think I can just go like that. Yeah, I don't think I need the land value for anything else. Get that up. Oh, um, nope, time is moving. There we go. The third and final police department, or fire department headquarters for building 18 fire departments. Which includes the first two fire department headquarters as well. Let's get a rail over there. Yeah, this will increase my expenses a bit. But I just want to get the gift ready to go now. Okay, so we got the forest out of the way. And eventually I'll get down there. Okay, so... Ah, one of the residential zones became a hospital. Okay, well, let's try another. Yeah, that's why I let time run on its own while I was still building some other things. Oh, wow, I uh, didn't realize I was that low on money. But yeah, regarding, like, how much money you keep on hand at any given time, like, for a disaster... You really don't need that much because your best tool for dealing with disasters are bulldozing. Just bulldoze anything that's on fire or right next to fire or something. But, uh, okay, so yeah. I, well, I have enough to build another residential zone. 
But it would have to be on a wide open area. And yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna leave that alone. Let's just fast forward! So really, whenever a disaster strikes yeah, during that year, I would just primarily use the bulldoze. Don't even bother replacing anything that gets destroyed in the process. And then the next year, once I actually do get that tax revenue, then we can start with the actual recovery effort and everything, rebuilding the zones that were destroyed. Man, I think I got more disasters in the on medium difficulty here. But yeah, really overall, the odds of disasters that you can't prevent are really small. Even on hard difficulty. I mean, yeah, it will happen more often, but I mean, how often would it really be? I mean, like, with a nuclear meltdown... Like, even on hard difficulty, I think I calculated it out. It was like, I'd probably have one every 42 years. Which, I mean, given how long it takes to build a city on hard difficulty, is not a very long time. I mean, if I was on easy difficulty, well, then that wouldn't be a problem. But yeah, I mean, it would be like every 200 years or something on easy difficulty. I mean, it, would, it wouldn't it would be practical. But yeah, losing one residential zone is fine. Hey, we got the other sea top going. Just got one more to go here. For now, let's, uh, yeah, figure out where we want to go from here. Okay, so that's all the sea tops in this quadrant. Well, I gotta finish that one off, but I mean, you know what I mean. Hmm, I don't have as much money as I would have liked to have by this point. But, okay, I'll see what we can do. Okay, so with industrial zones... Let's see, I could build a bunch around here. Instead of, uh... Yeah, going over here. I think I will do that. Why don't we keep going around here? So let's see, we got that. Then there's gonna be a rail. Then we got the right column, which I don't want to use. And then the left column, which I do. Okay, so with this one... Let's see, I could go all the way up above the gift there. Let's see, okay, so we get that. Then we got the rail. Okay, yeah, that'll be good. And then let's get the other one... Yeah, we can go right there for now. Okay, yeah, that'll be good enough. And then, okay, so, yeah, let's get started on the donut chain over here. Same thing as before. Let's start in the middle and go from there. Okay, and we also need to get a little power going up there. Okay, and then, let's see. Okay, so two, two... Actually, I need three residential zones, don't I? Because I... Yeah, yeah, I was... Uh, I didn't have enough the last time. Okay, so I need to get up to 238. Okay, so we got the two, and then three more. I don't think I want to build them around there yet. Okay, so let's go... Yeah, with these three. And that should be enough to, well, get something going there. Eventually, once I get other gifts, I want to build a donut here and another one over here. But, uh, yeah, I need more gifts. And I, well, yeah, it's still going to take a while. I think the next gift that I really want to go after is the second windmill for having, I think it was 500 developed zones. And the rails one is going to be expensive to get the next train station. I think you need 200 kilometers. So, yeah, we have a long way to go on that, both literally and figuratively. 
Can we get the center of the city moving in this direction? Find out next time on Let's Play Sim City. This is Ichi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.